Couldn't see if it was sparking, wedge that in there, couldn't really tell. I've got the gas off so I can connect my manometer in, I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to disconnect here and see if I can hear it. Sparking that is. Got that disconnected, you can hear it spark. Let's drop that, you can hear that spark, so I've disconnected that slightly. Nothing, let's see if you can see the spark. Hear it. Fingers from the electrodes. Okay, so by pulling that there, I heard it spark. I saw the gas pressure go down on this, so I know the gas valve does open. I can't hear it spark normally, but that may be because the washing machine's on. But the very next thing I'm going to do, because it's a Worcester um, RI, right, I'm going to. I'm looking at them electrodes. They look like they may have. The red seal may have failed. Uh, obviously the boiler doesn't run so I can't check it with an analyzer so I'm just going to whip it out and have a look. Uh, and that may well show me that the electrodes have failed or something like that and that's why we're not getting the spark up there to ignite the gas because I can't hear it. Oh, the background noise is a little bit annoying but... Get that out and then uh, undo that nut, swing it out. So I've got that out. Obviously it looks like the Blue has been leaking on it. I will probably just uh, untwist this to check the bearing plate is intact in there. If I can, oh, I'll do it in a minute. Uh, can't do that one hand. So I've pulled it out, check the bearing plate. I'm now gonna pull out the electrodes. Have a look at this red seal, because the electrodes obviously look a little crusty. And, uh, and pull the burner out. The red seal looks like it's been replaced, to be honest. So let's take it out and we'll check under the electrodes, but yeah, and it looks quite clean, so that flu leak must be old, historic, I would guess. I'll check it when it's running, but we'll see. Doesn't look too bad in there at all. Hmm, interesting. That wasn't, wasn't too bad, but if we're in there, we may as well change it. There's that, I've cleaned them electrodes up. Give them a brush. I've also checked continuity on them, that's good. I'm gonna check the continuity on the leads. As you can see, they are quite crispy. That is not from that seal. That that must have been the seal beforehand because that seal is in pretty good condition. Um, so yeah, I'll just get this back together. Do a negative fan pressure. I've checked the sump as well. Sump's completely clear. So it's obviously been actually, oh no, it looks a bit grassy, but it's obviously been serviced. Cause that's clean in there the baffles and the heat exchanger looks clear so yeah let's get this up obviously these ribs indicate it overheating but that is not why it's not firing the so bearing plates all good get that back on the gas pipe is all okay no splits so let's get this back together um yeah so far, so good. Nothing obvious. Clean off the corrosion there from the dripping flue so that if it's back and I come here again, then I know that it's still dripping. Obviously, I will check that today, but you can never be 100% sure with things like that.
layer. It's rectified and it's running. A little cleaner. So we're going to do negative fan pressure, um, negative fan pressure, and uh, set up the combustion. And it looks like job might be a good one. A negative fan. We're going to get these combustion ratios. Oh, there we go. Ten point eight. We're not doing bad. It should be eleven. That's pretty good. A little weed tweak. It's nice and stable. Eleven percent. You print that. Lock it down to low. So the last thing I will do on this is, I'll, once I've got it all back together, all tested, and I'll do the flue integrity, I will do the trap. Sorry, before I do the flue integrity, I will take the trap out, clean it, blow down that condensed pipe with a hose to make sure it's not blocked, and then back together, flue integrity, done. Okay, so I've done the trap. See, this all cleaned. I took that apart, I've blown down that, it was nice and clear. Put it all back together but someone had lsx'd it on um i should have got a shot of that which is absolutely disgusting i don't know what your thoughts are on lsx but you can see it been leaking a while and then they just glued it on there basically it's absolutely covered in it here we go all back together run up properly Power and away it was